so we're now on the next day i didn't end the vlog yesterday um but i do have a really good excuse for why not so the last thing you would have seen was us got heading to our parents house after going to south end um, Good morning. Hope you're having a good day so far. Today is the 18th of June. It is Father's Day today. So I suppose happy Father's Day to any any fathers out there. Sean, I've already given Sean his card and presents from Joshua. Um, we've got we're going around to my parents later, so I can give my dad his card and presents. Can you say hello. He looks really confused right now. It's been a while since we vlogged actually. Uh, the last time I vlogged would have been um, just a little over a month ago when we had to go up the hospital with Joshua because he was really poorly. Quite a lot's happened since then I guess. Um, me and Sean haven't really seen each other that much because of both our jobs. Um, the other time the fella died down now but there was a little bit that we had like a a week or so where there was a bit of overtime so I was taking it to make sure that to make sure that uh obviously I got paid all right um not really not a lot's happened with Sean Sean's just Sean Sean's just been at work that's it um Josh was feeling a lot better now since, <coughs> since the whole ordeal of him not being well we have to go up a and &E. um yeah, he's cut. He's now cut two of his molars since then, um, and we were having a few issues with his sleep. But touch wood, that that's all sorted itself out. Um, yeah, he was going through like a little phase where he just wasn't settling. Uh, well, he's still not settling very well at night, or it's taken him a while to settle to go to sleep. But now, what? But once he's going to sleep now, he's fine. Um, but he went through a phase where he was struggling to settle at night, and then he was also like waking up in the night and then once he woke up he was then struggling to get back to sleep but that like I said touch where it seems to sort itself out he's ne we're now just um he's now back to sleeping for like about 12 hours but it's just taking him a little while to settle before bed can mummy have that no um so yeah he seems to be fine um he's not been ill since he's just cut two more teeth since the last time we vlogged um I'm having to film on my phone because um even though I planned to vlog today because obviously we're going out for Father's Day, I forgot to charge the camera last night. I mean these last few days this day was the first day since Tuesday since Monday that I felt like a human. <laughs> um Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday I spent the day feeling like crap. Um, Tuesday wasn't so bad but Wednesday, Thursday and Friday it was awful. I just felt like I was just going to pass out um, all pretty much the whole time and I just didn't really feel with it at all. Um, but I'm feeling a lot better now. I feel a lot, started feeling a lot better yesterday. I feel a lot better today. I still, I still look a bit ill. Like, you, as you can hear, probably hear I'm a little bit coldy and I've got nice red, red horrible lips but um i feel a lot better than what i did I'm yourself. i've had some stuff go on since the last time we vlogged um i had to go to the doctors uh, in, at the beginning of may because um i was on birth control but basically since Joshua has been born um my cycles have been all over the place like I've been bleeding like quite regularly like I've been having like a bleed like pretty much every month but um usually before before chill before Joshua my my cycle day lengths were always 28 days maybe the odd cycle was slightly longer or slightly shorter but most months my cycle would be 28 days long where um 
since Joshua has been born, I've not had that consistency. My life, my cycles have been all over the place, and they're, they're differing between from 22 days to 35 days, which is a bit odd, considering that I'm on the pill as well. So I was on the pill, like obviously I went on the pill when Joshua was six weeks old, and the doctor said that being on the pill shouldn't be making my cycle so like um, all over the place. He said that obviously being on the pill should make them more regular. So he suggested that I come off it so we could have a look, see what my natural cycle is doing and test my hormone levels and also to have a scan done. Um, obviously I've not had my hormone levels tested yet because the doctor said that I'd have to wait until I've had um, two or three natural cycles before we can check the hormone levels, but the scan I've had, I could have do, I could have done, I could have had done like straight away. So I, I've had the scan, I've had the scan done end of May. Um, and he wanted to have a, he wanted to send me for a scan just to make sure that everything like in that area and like the reproductive area, like all my ovaries and stuff are working fine. And everything that's come back clear. So that's really good. So no, no think nothing wrong there. I've just got to wait for my hormone levels. Um, uh, for this blood test now so I can have this my hormone levels checked I've already had one natural cycle since coming off coming off the pill yeah. so I think everything's going to be fine I just think um, I just think it's where my body's probably still recovering after after I've even having a baby even though he's 15 months old now um, but obviously having a baby is, is such a massive like change um, for a woman's body especially like if you've never gone through it before um, and my my best friend Lorne, her mum used to be like a midwife, and she said that it can take it could actually take up to like three years after having a baby for everything to go back to normal, which is I think is why they sort of recommend you don't have children another child too soon after your first one, because obviously you, d you don't know like when everything's going to sort of like go back to normal. So Hello. yeah. But I mean, I've just got to obviously wait for the blood test now to have that checked, and then obviously we'll go from there about whether about what we're maybe looking at changing brand or whatever. We are going out for the day today. We are going out in South End uh, as it's a really nice day. It's been a really nice day these last few days, so the weather's been really good. So it's because really, it's a really nice day. We're going to go out. Um, we're going to go get some lunch since it's Father's Day. And then we're going to take a walk along the seafront, have a have a wander through Adventure Island. As Joshua's never been in there before, and maybe see if there's any rides that he's big enough to go on. Um, yeah, then just go from there. Really, I mean, other than that, I don't think there's much else planned. Like, I mean, the reason why we are going out is because obviously me, Sean, me and Sean don't ever get any days off together. So when he when we do, we always go out. So that's why that is why we're going out. So, um, yeah, but we're just in the middle of Sean's just getting breakfast sorted. Um, and I know you're probably thinking, well, if it's Father's Day, why aren't you doing it? Well, that's because he actually offered, because where we want to leave before Joshua's nap, we need to kind of get a move on. Um, and obviously I got up with Joshua, so he was like, look, you just deal with Joshua, and I'll just, um, well, not deal with Joshua, that sounds good to me. But he was just like, you sort Joshua out, and I'll sort our breakfast out, and then we can get ready and go. So... Yeah, Sean's just making breakfast. Joshua's just had his breakfast. He's currently watching um, a program on CBBS. I'm just gonna get get him cleaned up and then um, get him cleaned up and then get him down and then I, can, I don't know after that. Is that right? So, your question was, how can we get better at climbing? I think we've answered it. It is easier to use your legs to climb, as they do to your body weight. Remove your body weight from one. Joshua just helps himself to his biscuits. I left him alone for five seconds so I could go grab his bag and he um, managed to reach up onto the dining table where that little pot that's sitting on the green lid is and get himself a biscuit.
Oh, and we've had to change his outfit because he got biscuit down his other one. Car and it's so hot. I don't know how. Yeah, that's what I just said. I'm talking to the camera. Oh. Say hello. Hello. It's so hot in the car. I don't know how hot it actually is because the car isn't telling me because I, well, I think it's the engine's not on, it won't say. But, um, God, I just can't believe how hot it is. It's supposed to be like 26 degrees today, which is really hot. The sun seems to kind of gone in at the moment, but it's still blue skies, Hello. so that's all right. You ready? Yeah. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. Did you like your presents? Yeah. Anyway, we are on our way to South End now. Um, it's 11.54. I don't think we've been out this early in... Ever. Um, well, since Joshua's been born, <laughs> really. But the only time I've ever really been out this early, like, I go out, obviously, to, like, as to most mornings. Um, but I don't think we've actually been out, like, out, out. Well, not out, out, but I've gone out this early in um, such a long time. Because we've got a child, you can't really go out early. I think he likes it. It's been so hot today. Um, we've been out in South End all day, we're just heading back to the car. Let's go stop in the buckets. I can't even see if I'm actually in shock because it's so bright. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just heading back to the car so we can go. Stop at my parents. Joshua's been a little bit grumpy this afternoon, but it is really hot, and he's only had a half an hour nap compared to the one and a half to two to three hour nap that he usually has. So um, I'm going to drive to my parents. So I won't be able to vlog in the car. That's fine. I'll probably catch up with you guys when we get home. Hello, everyone. Um, so we're now on the next day. I didn't end the vlog yesterday. Um, but I do have a really good excuse for why not. So the last thing you would have seen was us go heading to our parents' house after going to South End, um, or heading back to the car to go to my parents' house after going to South End. Um, so yeah, we, we did go to my parents' house last night, stayed there for a little while to give my, my dad his father, uh, Father's Day gifts. Um, and then on the way home, we literally, just as we were pulling out of the, um, or just as we were trying to go round the mini roundabout, uh, just outside where my parents live, like outside the row of shops, because they live above the row of shops, we got into a car accident. So basically what happened was um, we were reaching up, like getting to the, towards the mini roundabout so we could go right to go home. Um, obviously roundabouts give way to the right, that's the general rule. Um, so obviously there was nothing coming, there was nothing at our right, so we didn't have to give way to anyone. Um, but however there was a car coming to our left now the car was going like at the speed limit well it looked like the speed limit it was about 30 and um, obviously seeing the car to the left we just assumed that you know he will stop for us because you have to give way to the right so we've obviously gone to go around the roundabout and uh he rather than slow down and stop he's come shooting onto the roundabout and um, basically we've, we've ended up hitting the side of his car so then he's then swerved and then hit, ended up driving into like this metal railing and then we've managed to pull in front of someone's driveway um, up onto the pavement and to get out of like the way to not cause like an, an obstruction obstruction in the road basically. Um, so yeah most of the damage to our car is to the front 
no one and um, there's no damage to either side of the car so no none of the doors got hit it's just our the front of our car collided into the side of the guy's car um uh, basically it's just lucky that we were going that we were driving really slow otherwise if we had been driving faster or, hit, or if the car had been driving that a little bit faster it could have been a lot more dangerous than what it was but basically we were only driving like about five not even five mile per hour because we were just about to go turn right um and it was the fact that this car was just came shooting out at like 30 mile per hour and when you should have gave way to us so yeah everyone's fine there's no no one's hurt or anything like that i mean sean's got a little bit of whiplash it looks like i might have a little bit of whiplash um but i mean the main the main thing is we're all fine and joshua is safe he's fine he has no injuries whatsoever um and he didn't even have a clue what was going on he just was happy as larry just like he was you know he didn't even know that there was anything wrong which is the main thing um that is why um i never ended the vlog yesterday because we didn't get home till like half 11 ish because we then had to obviously wait for someone to come pick us up because the, the accident happened just outside my parents flat so we weren't near home the car wasn't drivable we couldn't drive it home because of the, the leaking fluid and stuff so we had to be picked up by um an RA, the rac or something like that um whoever it was that our insurance dealt with it um so yeah so by the time we got home it was really late um and we were still see, still really stressed about it, you know. We were both quite shook up about it. Jo Sean especially because he was the driver, um, you know. So it was a big shock for him. Um, yeah, so it was just a bit of a, well, a massive shock to us both because you never you did never think you're going to be the one that's going to be involved in a car accident. And but it can happen to anyone. And I, I mean, that was the first ever car accident I've been in. And that was the first ever car accident that Sean's been in. So neither of us have ever been in a car accident before. And neither of us ever thought that we that we would ever have a car accident. So um, that is it really. This, this is the end of this vlog. Um, I do apologise that it wasn't ended on Sunday night. But obviously, like I said, um, with everything that happened, I just, I just didn't feel like it. So, so thank you for watching. Please share and maybe subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos by me. Don't forget to leave a comment down below so we will reply to all comments. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, maybe share it with your friends and families if, if you enjoyed it that much. Um, don't forget to check out all the links in the description box down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.